In the 1940s and 50s, the Hong family house was filled with six children, Maxine the oldest. The house also contained the shadowy presence of eccentric ancestors, who later appeared as characters in her books. Her grandfather, Ah Gung, crazy ever since he was bayoneted by Japanese invaders, he used to shock the family by exposing himself at the dinner table. A great uncle, Kao Gung, a riverboat pirate who murdered a man in Cuba and became a professional burglar in New York. Her aunt, Moon Orchid, who never adjusted to life in America and eventually died in a mental hospital. And there were ghosts. I mean, one of the extraordinary things, why it seems to me that somehow at, at some level, uh, books by Maxine Hong Kingston, books by, uh, uh, by Toni Morrison, uh, uh, sometimes don't get the awards they deserve in our literary culture. Uh, and I've heard this said by people who are on the panels that give out the awards, is that, is that um, um, the, the white American literary establishment doesn't believe in ghosts. Toni Morrison and Maxine Hong Kingston believe in ghosts. Kingston subtitled The Woman Warrior, Memoirs of a Girlhood Among Ghosts. Some of the ghosts she writes about are white, demons with round eyes. Others are ghosts who flew out of China seeking revenge. And one, the no-name woman, is the ghost of her father's sister, who drowned herself in the family well. When I heard the story, it came with a taboo. Um, I, my mother said, don't tell this story. Don't ever repeat it. I'm going to tell it to you, but don't you ever repeat it. And, um, and it was a, it, it, it's a story that has so much of woman's suffering. I mean, it's about rape. It's about infidelity. It, it, it's about how to keep a marriage going or how to break out of it. it it's about suicide and death. and. Um, illegitimate birth and a death of baby, a death of a mother. I mean, all, all kinds of horrible um, taboo subjects. It is a story of patriarchy, of an old Chinese culture that bound the feet of young girls, that kept women fearful silent, vulnerable. In the fields near her village, Kingston's aunt is raped while her husband is far away in America. When she becomes pregnant, the villagers torment her. She delivers her baby alone in a pigsty, and then, out of shame, kills the child and herself. And what I'm doing as an artist and a writer and a human being is saying, uh, I'm going to give her back her life. I'm going to bring her to life. And I'm going to make all of us face her. And we're going to find meaning for her life. And we're going to rescue her. And she has no name. But I'm going to, I'm going to give her her life and her immortality by writing it down and making a story that will live forever. My aunt haunts me, her ghost drawn to me, because now, after 50 years of neglect, I alone devote pages of paper to her. I do not think she always means me well. I am telling on her, and she was a spite suicide, drowning herself in the drinking water. The Chinese are always very frightened of the drowned one, whose weeping ghost, wet hair hanging and skin bloated, wait silently by the water to pull down a substitute. <laughs> 